Singapore will ensure sufficient healthcare capacity, not just for COVID-19 patients, but for those with other ailments as well. This while the government aims to slow down the disease transmission rate through measures like social distancing. Cheryl Goh explains. In an update to Parliament, Health Minister Gan Kim Yong reassured that the country's health care system is able to cope, but noted that every case that can be avoided will help ease the load of health care workers. Singapore's strategy is to slow down the infection rate and maintain it at as low a level as long as possible. A lower infection rate will help us to better conduct epi epidemiological investigations, contact tracing and quarantining of close contacts so as to prevent further spread of the disease in the community. It also preserves healthcare capacity to care for the more severe cases. We had invested significantly in the past to ensure that we have sufficient healthcare capacity to manage infectious outbreaks. The 330-bed NCID was purpose-built with spare capacity and can be further increased to over 500 beds if need be. Singapore has carried out more tests for COVID-19 per million people compared to South Korea and Taiwan. Around 39,000 tests have been done to date. This translates to about 6,800 tests per million people in Singapore, compared with around 6,500 in South Korea and about 1,000 in Taiwan. These tests are important in helping us to detect as many cases as possible and as early as possible. A work group is currently in the process of developing guidelines on using existing antiviral drugs to treat COVID-19 patients. Singapore researchers are also teaming up with international bodies to develop other forms of treatment and even a vaccine. Duke NUS Medical School is working with the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Innovations or CEPI and internal, international partners to develop a clinical trial for a vaccine which plans to start testing sometime this year. With all these ongoing efforts, WHO estimates that the earliest a vaccine will be ready would likely to be sometime next year. With more cases expected in the coming weeks, capacity for early detection through contact tracing have also been ramped up from 3 to 20 teams. This allows for up to 4,000 contacts to be traced every day. As Singapore braces itself for more challenging months ahead, Mr. Gan also drove home the message about social responsibility, as containing the outbreak lies in the clean hands of everyone.